The sample panel is the heart of the RO system as far as interfacing for samples and instrumentation and data collection. Um, Hard RO takes a lot of pride in designing very user-friendly sample panels. All of the instrumentation located on the skid is brought back to the sample panel and we like to see readouts of the actual instrumentation as well as the 4 to 20 milliamp signals that are then transmitted to the control system. So there's many levels of double checking the instrumentation. Um, it's important that the instrumentation not trap air, so we like to have all the instrumentation on the skid installed up high, and then the transmitters are also high, so it's fairly easy to bleed the air off of them. The transmitters then have to be so high that it can be difficult to read them, so we have on the back side um, a sample uh, panel aluminum support frame that's actually custom made in our shop to angle the transmitters down so you can read them. The pressure readings, we like to use a panel mount, high quality stainless steel glycerin filled four inch gauge with selector valves. So you eliminate gauge error between different gauges and the readings are um, relatively the same within a particular gauge. So we can read the feed, interstage, and concentrate pressure from one gauge just by changing this valve and the same thing on the permeate. And then as I mentioned, the, the signals all go to this, uh, what's called a human machine interface or, or man machine interface, an HMI. So we have local readouts here of all the instrumentation that the same operators are seeing also on the SCADA computer in their control room. So they can see it when they're out here on the floor. And then this is the local readout for the conductivity from the, this particular train. The samples themselves, we want them to be user friendly so it's easy to tell what sample is coming from where. So they're all labeled with high quality engraved labels held on by stainless steel screws. And the low pressure samples can be PVC, but instead of flimsy tubing, we like to use hard piped um, sample connections so it's easy to see where you're getting a sample from. And then drain trays that are large enough to hold a sample container. And then the high pressure taps need to be stainless. So the interstage and concentrate that would be high pressure, those are stainless. All the rest can be PVC. And then the sample tray itself should be plumbed away to a floor drain somewhere so that the, the floor stays dry while you're getting the samples. We also like to bring the RO feed pump pressure switches to the sample panel so it's easy to set them and adjust them if needed. And of course they're labeled for what they're set at. So it makes a very user-friendly process.